What do you think, Fleggy? Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well web chat. My name is Peter Fisher. Today we're going to be talking about PHP. Surprise, surprise. And I just want to talk about um, some of the things that I've seen, some of the things that I've read, some of the opinions of other um, people in programming, different languages and so forth, who shun PHP because they think that PHP is beginner only, because PHP is so beginner friendly, it must just be for beginners. And I would like to say that that it simply isn't the case because in my opinion, it's not just the programming language that you're using, it's how you're using it, right? Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But the, the, the reason why it is so beginner friendly is because, well, the community is so big. I mean, the, the documentation is so well written. The frameworks, are, there's so many of them. There's so many frameworks, so many libraries. The barrier of entry is pretty pretty small. Because the barrier of entry is small, because the community is so vibrant, and because there's so many of us, um, that people think that the programming language PHP is just beginner beginners only, because it's so beginner friendly, in my opinion. That's my opinion anyway. And also, there are things that, you know, that of PHP that people just don't like. But then there's things of other languages that people don't like too, you know. So I, I don't really subscribe to that argument. Um, now the thing is, the reason why it's the barrier of entry is so so small is because there's so much of PHP out there. For a freelancer, that's fantastic. Who knows PHP? Because you know that that is that is great. I mean, it's a buoyant it's a buoyant industry. But I. I'm not going to sit here and say that PHP is just for beginners. I'm not going to say that PHP should only ever be um, used when you're starting out, you know. Something that I will always say is it's not just the language, it's not just the syntax that you know that makes you a good programmer. That's muscle memory. What you what makes you a good programmer is, is how you actually apply those skills. So you can use uh, different design methods, different design patterns, different solid principles in many languages. Okay, so the same concepts that you've got in uh, C, you can apply in PHP. You can use domain-driven design in PHP. You can use that in Java. It doesn't, you know, knowing those concepts makes you a good program programmer, in my opinion it's not actually knowing the syntax. Just because you might remember a function name does not make mean that you're a good programmer. It just means that you've remembered the function name. Um, so having a, a clean, clean per code, that is a good thing, you know, as a programmer. All of those things make you a good programmer. Just because you're using PHP doesn't mean that you're a bad programmer, okay? Because when someone says that PHP is just for beginners and that if you really want to truly be a programmer, then you should be looking at Java and you should be looking at C and all of those those languages. No, 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 because it, 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 it depends on what it is that you're trying to achieve, you know? Um, if you're building a blog, build it in WordPress. If you're building an e-commerce site, Build it in Magento. If you're building um, uh, an API, build it in build it in uh, Symfony or Laravel. Um, hey, even build it in Python if you wish. But don't say that because you've built it in one language, um, you're not worthy to be deemed a programmer or deemed a web developer. Um, because that's just daft, and nobody is winning out of that. That's just your um, your attempt to stroke your own ego because you're 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 trying to put someone down and you're trying to justify why you're doing it in another way, uh, which is daft. Now, <coughs> now I do 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 appreciate that there are uh, lots of things that PHP doesn't do well, <laughs> and you in order to be a, a, a good programmer i'm not saying that i am i've, I've never said that i'm a good programmer I, I, and i never will um but in order to uh be a decent programmer you need to acknowledge um the your programming limitations and in doing so you need to know what the other programming languages can can offer you 
So, for example, if you were to build something that that just deals with uh, backing up files, maybe it's moving, um, you know, one database to another database. Um, maybe it's moving a load of images from one place to another or renaming a lot of files. So there's a lot of string manipulation going on. Don't use PHP. <laughs> Don't use PHP. Use Python. Use use something else. Use use another language that can do that far better, more efficiently. Um, you don't have to just be tied down to the language that you've developed your application in. So you shouldn't you shouldn't just say all I know is PHP or all I know is Python and therefore nothing else is going to be relevant to me. Um, when I deploy uh, certain sites to certain places, I use Capistrano. Capistrano is not written in PHP. It's written in Python. Uh, sorry, it's written in Ruby. And I have my own Ruby tasks written in the Capistrano way. So what I'm trying to say in a very roundabout way is that we shouldn't be belittling other people in this programming industry uh, because they're doing things in a different way to what we would do them in. You know, um, if there is a justifiable reason and if that reason isn't just to stroke your own ego, um, if there is, if that reason is specific to the application, you know, maybe if they did it in a different way, then it would be more efficient, then yeah. OK, do tell them, do do say, you know what, have you have you considered doing it in this? But that's the whole point. Don't be a moron about it. Don't see it as an opportunity to try and belittle that other person um, because and, and make you yourself look superior because nobody likes that, that <laughs> that, you know, you, you shouldn't be out to making other people look stupid. OK, you should be out there to teach the, that person educate that person on how they could do it in a different alternative way perhaps in a more efficient way and have the end goal the application that they're trying to build in sight rather than try and demean their personal sort of emotional state by telling them that they're stupid because they're doing it in such and such of a language or such and such of a framework um it's you know that that that's not a nice thing to do and i see so much of that which is just awful in my opinion um why i mean you know junior developers who aren't aware of what's out there yet because they are simply you know fresh shouldn't feel afraid to stick their neck out and say you know am i doing this the right way um and i do feel that a lot of them are because uh, there's there's so much negativity that can be can you know you can hit these junior developers with telling them that they're stupid and daft because they're doing it in such a way you know it's we've all been there we've all learned web development from the from from zero we were all at some point had zero knowledge of web development zero knowledge of programming so you know remember how you were when you were that green OK, and if I'm, I'm sure you've had I mean, I've had plenty of experiences where I've come away from a conversation where I've been made to feel stupid. OK, that's not a nice feeling. And we shouldn't be making other people feel like that because, you know, at the end of the day, they're not going to come back to you for advice. But hey, look, I'm going to leave it there. I think PHP is a fantastic language. I think Python is a great language too. Same with Java. Uh, they all have their complexities. They all have their nuances. They all have their pros and their cons. If you found this enjoyable, if you found this useful, do give it a thumbs up. Share it around to others that might uh, find it useful too. I'm going to go and grab a cup of coffee and also a slice of cake. Happy coding, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.